What up? What up? What up? Hope everybody's hype. So we are still processing the collection that we've been blabbing about and bragging about. And we're just so happy that, you know, we did this hunt. It was a blind purchase. So you never know what's going to pop out. I'm going to be sharing with you guys today some of the stuff that came out of that collection. But the big theme of this show is how shops at least how we process a collection and how we appropriately price the items so we're going to let you in on what should be an industry standard but uh, clearly it's not an industry standard because if it was you guys wouldn't have all the issues that you're having in the lower 48 with all the other shops that are you know pricing stuff at the at the register which is completely inappropriate so let's see who we got on here real quick. What's going on? We got we got Real Root 6. We got Lon Espinoza. We got Astro Wizard. We got Copy801. Coco Gal, what's going on? Dave Collects. Yeah, yeah. We got the lovely Amy. We got Liv on the moderation tip. We got, uh, let's see here. Man, we got a grip of y'all here. Thank you, thank you. All right, we got 22 watching right now. And typically we get the thumbs down if we don't if we don't get straight uh, to the show here. <laughs> so uh, a, a quick thank you to our sponsors and a shameless plug for our swag. And we will move on with the show because we can't even do this without the sponsors right now. So here we go. Our sponsors, the Awakening Espresso, located right here next to the shop. Go get the best drink in town, then hang with us at the shop. EGS Comics Grading Services, we can get them hot custom labels. Michael Ray Photography, our preferred choice for boudoir, cosplay, couples, all your photo needs. And unleash your inner savage at Frosted Axe Throwing, the only place in town where you don't catch a felony charge with locations in Anchorage and Eagle River. Rep the best shop ever with our swag shop. Go to our website, click Swag Shop, order the coolest gear, and rep us all over town. And support content like this on our Patreon. Hook it up. Homelight. Do you have a house you need to sell? Maybe a secret lair? Contact Homelight today for all your home selling needs. They got them agents at the ready, so check them out. And of course, Dave Eller Financial Services with Edward Jones. Because unless your name is Tony Stark, you're going to need Dave Eller, so check him today. And make sure you follow us on Instagram, because, yo, we're, we're hilarious. Hysterical. <laughs> Ladies, do you want to look awesome in a pair of Aegis leggings? Well, make sure when you order, you order a size larger than you normal wear so you don't look like a busted can of biscuits. You never know what someone will look like in one of these pairs of leggings. Yo, and you know that we have the new swag available. Um, we can actually ship that from the shop now, but uh, some people have been asking us, because we've been using Teespring for a minute, but we're actually able to sell some of our, uh, well, we have a good supplier for our swag here locally, and he gets the stuff done really quick. So let me show you a, a, a quick shameless plug for our new swag. Alright, and uh, once again, special thanks to all of our Patreon. They're the ones that uh, fund all this craziness here so that we can have the as close to the best content as we can get out to you guys, man. We appreciate you. We appreciate all love. So uh, we did a hunt, and once we did our hunt, now we got to process it. Let me show you the hunt real quick, and then uh, I show a little bit of the processing. And then after you see a little bit of the processing, uh, I'll show you the apps that we use at the shop. And then I'll show you some of the books that we just pulled out today. So as a result of those apps. So let's see here. Let me bring that up for you guys real quick. And here you go. Hey guys, it's uh, Lou here. 
We're in lovely Wasilla, Alaska. Getting ready to go pick up a collection, hopefully. We're gonna go check it out real quick. Uh, Amy's following me in her whip, just in case we can't fit everything in both or one vehicle. And it's gonna be 18 long boxes, give or take. Some locals uh, trying to get rid of a collection that they inherited and it sounds like it's gonna be a bunch of books not bagged and boarded we all know what that means it's either gonna be a train wreck or it's gonna be a, a treasure trove we'll see we'll uh, let you know here in a sec all right guys well we just bought the collection got It's actually closer to 20 plus boxes total. Plus we even got uh, bags, boards. Yeah, we're gonna be busy. We're gonna be processing for weeks. For weeks, yeah. But it was, it was a good find. It was a good find and the people who sold it to us were awesome. And yeah. Thankfully, we only have like half a mile to go down the DC Challenge. Six. How you starting on that? Number seven. Is that Gru? It looks like some Gru over there, huh? Ah, Plastic Man. Eight. Look, look at that. Joker. Batman. Oh, and the old school Joker. Yep. Number nine. Okay. Ten. Jalanti on there. Yeah. Dead man. Eleven. Wow. Huh. A lot of focus on uh, Dr. Fate. Yep. And last but not least, the twelve. Wow. That was so cool. All right, so that's like a super abbreviated. We haven't dented the boxes yet. So I'm going to show you what we found real quick just today. And then I'm going to show you the apps that we used to find them. I think that's a good order in showing you guys. So I'll keep you guys hyped with what we found. Then I'll show you how we did it. And then essentially how we'll try to fair market price these things and give you an insider scoop on what we do at the shop to price things where they should be priced to go and we'll go from there so here check this out this is just some of the books that i handpicked out of the out of the pile of keys that uh, uh our guys found today so check this out just a couple of these right and got the Dragon Ball Z. And that screaming and everything in the background, that's him finding more stuff. It's out of control, man. We got some more. Uh, <laughs> All right, we found this uh, Ninja Turtles. But then we found these uh, Mirage Ninja Turtles, the 
earlier ones there. Black and white interiors. It gets crazier though. Some Samurai Santa. This is just some of the crazy stuff we found, right? But then we got the first meeting of Deadpool and Wolverine. That was in that collection. You know that one's going to pop. For a Cobra Command gal. We, but wait, another one. Oh, we got some some early uh, Thor that was in that collection. What you think about that? How you feeling about that, guys? Oh, uh, I got the green screen, so it's going to do some wild stuff with anything that's green, but that does look dope, though. Huh? We've gone through this in the past. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Ooh, my sister is in the audience. What's going on to my beautiful sister, Carla? Love you. Let me see. We got more stuff though. We got Amazing Detective. These 10 cent comics, man. Gotta love it. There's a lot of stuff in here, man. Hold on. I got more. You guys will start getting hype here in a sec. Soon enough, uh, Astro Wizard will be putting them out on a pop shop. Um, <clears throat> and we'll have them available at the shop, of course, too. Oh, check this out, man. Amazing Adult Fantasy, number 13. Tales from the Crypt, number one. Oh, no, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. We got, so we got some uh, early Detective Comics. He's wearing a green suit, so that's why it's causing that. Ooh, some Jimmy Olsen. I want to say this is... Uh, first meeting of Superman with the Allfather. Darkseid's dad, I think. And then... You know what this is. Now, that's supposed to be green. It's the green screen is uh, screwing that up here. but And, of course, another one. And another one. I think this is, uh, I think this second, yeah, this second appearance of Dark Side. Oh, yeah. And then this is proof that Jimmy Olsen has been trying to kill Superman since, like, day one. Ooh, yeah, this first appearance here. Oh, he's legit Blue Falcon, yo, legit. Oh, here we go. This uh, first appearance of Dr. Zin Zin.
this is uh, appearance of the outsider and this is where it's revealed that the outsider is actually uh, Alfred resurrected so Alfred's died before in the comics second appearance I believe of man bat second appearance of man bat First appearance of Jason Bard. Another one. First Neil Adams ever here. First Neil Adams. Another Neil Adams cover. And here's a here's a killer book that was in that pile. Second appearance of Batgirl. The second appearance of Batgirl. Robin has green gloves, so the green screen is messing with it. But that is the second appearance of Batgirl in comic books there. This is uh, the 30th anniversary of Batman, and it's a retelling of the story, but it's censored. So essentially what they did in this one is they, uh, uh, <clears throat> they censored out one of the images where there's a, uh, a victim with a knife in his back. But it's a, a retelling of Detective Comics, uh, what was it, uh, 27, oh, I should have known that, good lord. Detective uh, Comics 27, first appearance of Batman, so there's a retelling of that story in here, just censored. And then, ooh, another one. Another second appearance of Man Bat. So that is just denting the boxes. We have an entire box of just Bronze Age uh, Marvel. We've got the first appearance of Clark Kent in a Thor comic book, uh, which was an unauthorized appearance. And then we've got... Oh God, we've got a uh, yeah, we've got several Bronze Age uh, keys uh, for Marvel. Uh, it's looking like uh, we found a couple of Silver Age, and we're just just marching through. But how do we do it though? So apparently, from what you guys have been telling us, is and yes, that's the first Neil Adams ever, is my understanding, and then. Uh, Actually, yeah, that's the first Neil Adams. So how do we know all that stuff? How do we process so semi-quickly these boxes? And how is it that we're able to not have to price things at the register? Well, we use several apps. So I'm going to share my screen here. And hopefully nothing embarrassing there. Okay, it's just you guys. So, <clears throat> and of course, you know, just a reminder, check us out on our website. Another shameless plug here. If you go to uh, AegisComicsOfAlaska.com, that's AegisComicsOfAlaska.com. You can check out all our deals at our website, podcasts, everything else. You can click and go to our store. But, all right, let's stay on topic. First app that we typically use, and for, before you guys start sliding into my DMs and roasting me, I don't know, if you have beef with Nick, that's between you and Nick. We use Key Collector, but let me explain why we use Key Collector. We do not use Key Collector to value the books. I want to be very specific about that. We don't use Key Collector to price our books. We use Key Collector to help us process a long box in super record time because you can use Key Collector and you can literally fly through... Um, <clears throat> You can fly through a collection in no time just by using the categories. So, you know, you have Detective Comics. So if you just typed Detective Comics as an example. Here's 
you go in there okay here's volume one there's 222 keys there now you got this box of detective comics this long box that you just purchased from someone instead of having to figure out where to look all over the damn internet you just fly through the app and what i like about key collector aside from it being easy to find books it'll tell you about the book now value wise we ignore this okay guys we ignore that that's not something we pay attention to because a lot of people don't agree on this so what we do is then we go to cover price cover price is where we get the fair market value for books that's where we determine our fair market value cover price doesn't do a good job of explaining to you why a book is worth what it's worth what the story is behind the book that's not something that they they typically do yet i i feel like in the future they will but they are fantastic for telling you the fair market value of a book so let's look at uh and of course they so here's the weekly top 10 so this book this star wars we still have two of these on our on our uh, on our shelves here we literally still have two of these in the shop and people don't know that this book is already selling for eleven dollars and ninety five cents uh which is the fair market value right now raw for this book well actually the the average uh, raw comic uh, uh, raw <coughs> fair market value is twelve sixteen for this book because cover price gathers this information from multiple sources not just ebay obviously there's no graded yet that if i saw a graded one in here i would be alarmed the book just came out there's no way on earth that you could have gotten that book graded that quickly so if i would have seen graded data here then i would have just deleted the app right now and been like nah this is uh this is no longer an app we can trust but that's not what's happening so then you can look here and they just have so much details on the sales data uh you can get it for free but you won't have all the the full access of the information you need if you're in this as a hobby not sure if you need to be paying for any of these but if you're serious about this if you're serious about the value of your books cover price key collector are essential essential uh, uh, uh tools for 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 uh, uh for providing fair prices and to make sure that you're not being taken advantage of as well right so it gives you your averages on this on, on this book here it tells you you know hey in july god somebody paid twenty dollars for this somebody paid twenty three dollars twenty five dollars uh don't pay that much for this book but unfortunately that's where they get there was 80 recorded sales and that's how they came out with the average so it's all the information you need is right there so this is why we use these particular tools if you got a graded book cover price is also great at uh, uh giving you data on graded books however uh go collect we mentioned go collect because go collect is going to show you information on graded books and it's going to show you information on uh the cgc census right if you use clz app i i believe that clz draws its information from uh from uh go collect if any of you uh know any different please say something in the comments but it's my understanding that clz uses uh go collect to gather their data which is i believe is why some people are overvaluing their books and the reason they're overvaluing their books is because they're going off of the graded value and they're not going off graded 9.8 value and a lot of guys don't know what a 9.8 is they don't know uh <clears throat> And they don't know about graded books so i'll get a lot of people come into the shop that'll be like man i got this book right now and uh i'm pretty sure it's worth about ten thousand dollars and then you have to break their hearts and tell them nah man the, not even remotely close your your book got eaten by your dog before you brought it here 
you pulled it out of the dumpster before you got here. It is not what you think it is. So this is why we use these apps. Um, if you own a shop or you're one of the flea market sellers or you go to cons and sell, you better be using these apps and you better price your stuff before you get to the show. Price your stuff before you get to the show, man. And if you, go in, if you come into my shop right now and you go into my back issue bins and you pull out a $100 book from the $2 bin, that's on me. I should have used these apps, these tools that we have at the shop that all of my employees have access to. It was our responsibility to price the books, not your responsibility, which is why we, uh, we did that. Uh, well, we've done a couple of videos. Uh, uh, one of them was the, the Comet Karen video. And then the other one was the uh, uh, what shops shouldn't do at, you know, uh, or what you shouldn't do when you're running a comic book shop. And for those of you that didn't see that video here, hold on, I think I have that here. Let me run that for you. Hold on. I believe I have that right here. Let me see here. Here, hold up. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the comic Karen real quick, and then we'll go from there. Here you go. It's actually a, a Torpedo Comics exclusive. You, that, that's actually the only place you can get it is through Torpedo Comics, unfortunately. But you're a comic book shop. Yeah, but that particular cover you can only get at their shop. They call them retailer exclusive covers. Well, can't you just order it? Well, you can on their website, but I, I unfortunately can't hear it at the shop. But you don't understand. This is for my sister's boyfriend's third cousin's mechanic's birthday. I need this book. Okay. The only way you can get that cover is if you go on their website or through them. I so have... you're refusing to help me is what you're saying? Well, I don't have any way to get that book. I'm giving you a horrible Google review. Horrible. This is ridiculous. You guys know who I am. Uh, comic Lou Future, the future of comics. I kind of dictate on Instagram what the market should look like for Golden Age and Bronze, and so basically anything I say goes. And this is what's killing the industry right now. A 4.0. This shouldn't be graded. It should be a 9.8 minimum. That's what benefits me. That's what benefits the market, the future. Dude, I, I really just wanted the book. You're wasting your time, Missy. You uh, do not know. I, I think I got something for you, man. You, you get a little grumpy sometimes when you see people just buying stuff that you're not into, kind of. Fuck off, man. Yeah, it's this pill. It, 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 it cures your comic book Karen syndrome. A pill? But I'm telling you, man, yeah. Just, you take it, and pretty soon, it's got great side effects, man. You stop being an a-hole, you might move out of your mom's house. So, let's try, let's just take a couple of these real quick. Tell me how you feel afterwards, man. Hmm. Yeah? That's not too bad of a book there. Yeah? How do you feel about 
somebody collecting a, a, a book that, that you think is a low grade? How does that make you feel? I think that might be a good thing for the industry. I, well, I think I might move out of my mom's house. All right. I might start liking other people's posts. I might know the touch of a woman. Mom! You can fuck off today. Hello, and welcome to an important message from Aegis Comics of Alaska. Do you get mad when somebody has a book that you don't have? Or do you get mad that they collect comic books a different way than you and you just don't think that they should do it at all because of that? Well, you may be suffering from comic book Karen syndrome. <gasps> That's right, comic book Karen syndrome. Did you also know that there is help in the form of a prescription? All you have to do is look for the little green pill with the FFKUF on it. That's right, fuck off. If you don't like the way someone's collecting their comics, one daily dose of fuck off will have you shutting your mouth and letting them collect comic books the way they want to collect comic books in no time. So remember, don't be a comic book Karen and fuck off today. You can fuck off today and you can fuck off for good. <laughs> Comic book shop? Comic book shop? <laughs> <laughs> we ask that all our customers thumb through our collection for the next several hours and identify and price keys for us. We will then charge eBay rates to make it worthwhile. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to stuff our faces with cold pizza while you do our job for us. No way, they're just trolling. I'll just take, wait. I'm gonna take this Wolverine War Machine. Yeah, Moon Knight, hell yeah, for just three bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, fine sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Welcome to Aegis Comics. Whew. I can't believe you had that in the dollar bin. I'm so stoked. Oh, no, man. This book isn't a dollar, man. But this is, uh, I got charged you like $80 for this book. It was in the dollar bin, though. Yeah, but it's like, we priced them at the register, and this book's like, it's like 80 bucks, man. <laughs> we charge you like 80 bucks for it. No, the, the, the staples are detached. It's clearly not an $80 book. Look. Yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure you could press that out, man. If you... You're full of it, sir. sir I am please not stop gonna choking pay me, sir. more than sir. a dollar. There's a ten dollar choking fee that you need to pay. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Sir. All right. So <laughs> the last thing we need to talk about real quick. It, wait, hold on a sec. Do we have a... You got a big key there, Jamie? How about uh, two appearances of the first appearance of Rogue? What? Yeah. Ooh-wee. How about Star Wars number 107? The very hard to find last issue. Another one. What? Let me see that one. That's the last issue. What? Hard to find. Last issue of Star Wars? Damn. Oh, God. She had to be wearing green. But anyway. <laughs> that
That is so awesome. We're still finding stuff back there. Now, we're not a real comic book shop if we don't tell you that ultimately the Overstreet Guides are the, I mean, they're the gold standard. If you're old school, you're going to want an Overstreet Guide. We got plenty of them at the shop. If you go into a comic book shop and they don't have these in the shop, they're not a real comic book shop. So we have them. I just, with technology, I, I would rather just use the apps. But, I mean, there are people that truly believe that uh, they need to be using the, uh, uh, the Overstreet. And I don't argue with them. That's... I make sure that the Overstreet is available for them. And if you look into the in the directory, page number 1162. That's right, baby. Aegis Comics. Aegis Comics, baby. We're right there. Wait, we're right. You see us right there. Look at that. We're over there in Alaska somewhere. This one here. I can't do it. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry, babe. It's like <laughs> trying to find it. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. So, we recommend if you're running a shop or if you're serious about selling, flipping books, you must use the apps. If you're going to eBay, Let's go to eBay real quick. Here, let me share my screen. For those of you that use the eBay, it, here, we'll go, uh, let's go Amazing Spider-Man 300. All right, so Amazing Spider-Man 300. This is what the majority of the people are doing. This is what's pissing people off because guys are doing this at the register, right? They're doing that. And they're saying, oh, I'm going to need 1,000 for that, right? Signed by Todd McFarlane in the 9.2, I'm going to need 1,000. Man. E uh, the, the apps, all of the apps that I showed you are only going to be collecting the data from sold big difference when you start looking at the prices you're typically looking at several hundreds of dollars in difference and it's always uh, on the lower end so these apps do it for you you don't have to sit there hunting because this stuff is going to fluctuate almost on a daily basis and if you walk into my shop and try to hit me with a uh, a listed price I'm gonna laugh at you because that's what I'm gonna do and we're probably gonna do another parody and we're gonna include you in the parody so use the apps they're your friends these apps these guys put in a lot of effort whether you love them hate them they put in a lot of effort into creating these apps we are not sponsored by any of these fools I don't get anything from them none of them are patreon uh, I recommend them to my Patreon because it is a valid tool, but at the end of the day, uh, they don't, Amy and I do not receive anything from any of the apps that we just showed you right now. Go collected a promo with us one, one time where we did a, a giveaway of our Red Sonia. So it promoted our shop, but we, we were the ones that had to give away the book and fulfill it. They didn't give us a dime. It was just kind of a, uh, a like for a like type situation we're very friendly with all these guys but once again none of this that we're doing right now is a paid promotion this is just straight up what we use at the shop and we pay a subscription for all of them so that's what we use if your shop isn't using these apps i hope they're at least using the overstreet if they're using neither and they're just using eBay, they're just going to be the subject of complaints and parodies and everything else. And, you know, 
a lot of these shops and a lot of these shop owners, I think you guys will agree, and I'll be looking at the comments to see what you guys think, but a lot of these shops are owned by guys that were pre-social media days. So they really don't understand how rapidly information is spread on social media, both good and bad. And how reviews, it, nobody cares about Yelp anymore. The reviews are all on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, there's a friend of our channel. He did one video, uh, a negative review, which was rightful, uh, which was righteous based off of uh, all the information that he provided. And the person he was complaining about was had no option but to make things right. Because, like I said, a lot of these shops that I'm talking about uh, that are failing and are becoming the subject matter of complaints on Instagram, uh, on uh, Facebook, and every other app out there, it's because they're not, they've gotten lazy, they gave up. If you give up, then don't do this anymore. Move on, do something else. A lot of these guys have been running these shops since the 1980s. I'm looking at you right now if you're watching the show. You deserve retirement. You've done the industry an awesome, awesome... You've given us an awesome gift. You've been serving us for ages, for decades. You've been giving us the books, the material that we've always wanted, that helped guide us. And unfortunately, some of us actually based, you know... Uh, are good versus evil lessons off of these comic books but nonetheless they're a big influence on us on our culture and for that we thank you but if you're the guy that is making your customers do all the work and you're doing the ebay at checkout maybe you should consider just go ahead and sell it man close up the shop and do something else that makes you happy because you're not happy anymore and I'll tell you right now, when this place stops making me happy, me and Amy are done. We're, we're out of here. When it stops being fun, we're dipping and we'll do something else. Do what you love. And like every successful YouTube channel uh, uh, on, the comic, on the comic niche says, buy what you love. Buy what you love. And if you're that jackass that jumped on our IG and went after that little kid... Because you're still living with your mommy and you're a piece of crap and you're upset because he got a Hulk 181 and you can't afford one. But instead you just wanted to go after him. British style, baby. You need to just delete your account, delete your YouTube, delete your Instagram and find something happier to do. Off my rant, man. I am blessed Amy is blessed to have you guys following us, watching our stuff, and uh, supporting us the way you do. Please, if you like the video, like it. If you don't like anything that we put out today, put a thumbs down. That's fine. Give us some feedback, though. Give us some feedback on how we can fix things and make things better. Because we're not trying to go anywhere anytime soon. We're trying to reach a 1,000. We have some awesome giveaways when we reach a 1,000. And... Make sure to use that hashtag uh, Aegis1000. That's hashtag Aegis1000 uh, so that uh, we'll be able to keep track of uh, uh, who our winners are going to be because we've got that Reggie Collects. And I think we're going to throw in a couple of other books, especially some of the books that uh, uh, we found in this collection. You're going to find some of those books. We're going to be doing some mystery boxes. We're going to be doing some good things. Final note of the night. Final note of the night. Uh, tomorrow I'll be moving on to the base. Uh, we are opening up our second location at Joint, uh, Joint Base Elmendorf uh, Richardson. If you have base access, please come and show your support on Monday. Monday is our grand opening. Hours of operation are going to be Monday through Saturday from 10 to 5. That's Monday through Saturday from 10 to 5. Kevin and Liv will be running the the origin of all of this, our headquarters, so to speak. And we'd really appreciate it, guys, if uh, take advantage of uh, our website, our web store right now. We have a special going on right now at Aegis Comics uh, 
at AgisComicsAlaska.com. We have a special right now. If you enter promo code uh, Aegis35, that's promo code Aegis35, and if Liv is listening or Amy, if you could put that promo code in, uh, in the comments, it's Aegis35. That promo code will get you 35% off any book on our web store right now. Any book excluding graded and uh, swag, you know, the shirts and stickers and stuff, that's separate. But any book that's on our site right now, you're going to get 35% off. So it's Aegis35. It's going to be all caps, all caps, Aegis35. That's all caps, Aegis35. Enter that at checkout and you're going to get 35% off. Also, if you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping anywhere in the United States. So uh, help us out by doing that and because we're trying to get this sh that online store running um, and flowing so that uh, we can uh, uh, have three sources of income coming into the shop so that we can keep the shop in the condition that it is right now and continue to provide the services that we provide. We uh, do a lot of veteran services here and we try to uh, give back to the community as much as we can. Also remember August 14th. August 14th is free comic book day. So we're going to be hosting events at our shop. We're going to be hosting events at, uh, at J Bear. Pray for us now, man, because you know it's going to be stressful. But we're, we're doing free comic book day at uh, both locations simultaneously. If you're in town, come check it out. Uh, thanks to our Patreon, uh, we're able to purchase a lot of those books to give away. For those of you that don't know, those books are not free. We pay, uh, on average, $0.25 cents per book plus shipping, and then we give them out for free. And the reason we do that is because the whole purpose of Free Comic Book Day is to introduce new readers and, and into the hobby and to maybe bring back some of the older readers and uh, also uh, try to... Uh, oops, sorry about that. And also try to get you introduced to new titles and new publishers that you might not have been interested in before so guys thank you so much uh for all your support also also uh, uh final thing make sure you're watching spine ticks they come on right after us here uh so you got 30 minutes to have a drink stretch out uh before uh spine ticks Make sure that you're supporting the other channels, please. Um, if you're a channel that we haven't subbed up to, please drop into our DMs on our Instagram, and we will sub up to your channel. Uh, if you're subbed up to us, we're, we we have to reciprocate, man. And, uh, uh, I mean, as long as you ain't doing some crazy stuff, as long as you're not, like, <laughs> some Nazi or something, we're, we're going to, we'll sub up, man. So... Make sure to drop in our DMs and let us know. Promote your channels, and uh, we'll do our best to promote you guys as well. If you guys haven't gone to Cobra Command Girl's uh, new YouTube channel, she does a bad ass, no filter, no fluff, straight to the point review of the new Snake Eyes movie. That was, for me, that was one of the best movie reviews I've ever watched because it was straight to the point, no punches pulled. I loved it. So make sure you check her out. And we have a list of all of our uh, our friends of the channel. If we missed you, let me know again and we'll get you added to the list. Thank you guys. We appreciate you.